happy to do this. Today we will share the wisdom of Bhagavad Gita, chapter 11, which is for the one in all. You have, everybody knows that God is only part in only present. But we don't see Him. And that's the problem. In books from five to four, we continue to reinforce this logic that God is everywhere. And that is the chapter 11. And that is called celestial wheel. You got to have 2020 spiritually in order to perceive the presence of God. Otherwise, we look like all this. But in us, there is a God. Otherwise, we won't do it. God is in the with the name of witness. And, but we don't feel, we don't perceive that way. So, in Srimad Bhagavad Gita, you are not seated in the heart of the world. You know, that is the divine warranty. It is not a third hand information, but the first hand information. He is the writer, he is the thinker of the great celestial philosophy. There are several verses divided into 18 chapters. And nobody, since its inception, dare to change to 699 or 701. It is a complete package. Complete package. And there are three schools of thoughts. The first six chapters, Broadly speaking, belongs to the yoga of action, karma yoga. 7 to 12, the bhakti yoga, the yoga of devotion. And 13 to 18, it is yoga of knowledge, jnana yoga. Today's chapter, which I want to share with you, is the 11th chapter. And the 11th chapter is the Virata. Virat Kuk is a Sanskrit word, but in English it is celestial being. Celestial being. And then come back to the same notion that God is everywhere, but we don't see it. We fight, we are full of jealousy, we do many bad things on a daily basis. Only thinking that nobody knows. That is, but if you are being watched, Chances are you won't do that. If the teacher is here, nobody will try to you know, mimic anybody. But if the teacher is not there, the tendency is totally different. So it is the awareness. Do we believe or do we don't believe? Because he is invisible. You cannot touch, you cannot see, you cannot perceive that. It is your profound conviction, which was who had. So, this is the divine warranty that he is seated in the heart of everybody. But do we believe it? I am asking. Do we profoundly believe that God is seated here and he was? Yes. yes. Do we believe? Yes. <laughs> no. But we do many bad things. Yes. So that we don't believe. Because you can't have more those things. Either we believe and set up a life of state. Or we don't believe it, do whatever we want to do. Phonetically, we are saying, but that is not the human. There are 8.4 million evolutions. So, Rasi Bhav is only Out of 8.4 million evolutions through which we have all gone, this human form is the apex point, the apex point of the creation. This is the Hari Kushma. So, we have to see our existence in that way. It is now or never. If you miss the opportunity, the chances are you have to go through 8.4 evolution. So I think now Junior said, put more evolution in the depending on the quality of your country. That you desire. That is why we say we are the master of our destiny. Do the right karma, you are the master of your destiny. Do the wrong karma, you mark your destiny. So, if I profoundly believe, this is an opposite. 
that God is hidden in me. The other name of that situation is Chitrago. The person who is taking your pictures is it. So you are being photographed all the time. If the photograph, photographer comes here and he faces the camera to you, what do you do? Smile. Whether he says or not, but usually they say smile or cheese or whatever. Why you do that? The photographer brings the camera and just faces the, the camera to you. Immediately your whole body behaves differently. You give a broad smile because you know the picture is coming and you want good picture. Right? If we perform the belief, this is not a joke, if you perform the belief, that God is taking my picture all the time. Why we have all faith? Why we don't believe? Why we don't smile? Because I don't believe. That is I am coming back again and again and I don't believe. Suna hua hai. Mahatma ne kya diya hai. Kisi aur ne kya diya hai. Google ne dekh liya hai. Lekin experience nahi hai. Experience is liya hai. We don't believe. So try to believe. That is the wisdom of God. It is not a guess, but it is not a curse, it is a science. It changes you from inside out. But it's the bug starts with you. You have to believe. So suppose I believe. So most of the time my face will be reflecting that smile. Not like a crazy guy, I am master the moment. There will be inside smile, smile because you are being correct. So with that awareness, when you initiate any bad action, any bad action, verbal, physical, mental, the same, same thought should be there that you are being photographed, videographed. It is a video being taken care of in each and every activity. So what should I do? There are two ways to live life. One is the pessimistic, one is active, positive, positive, action oriented. Wherever there is action, Bhagavad Gita is there. Wherever there is inaction, Bhagavad Gita is not there. So Bhagavad Gita is action oriented. Once you understand it, you will be very positive. You will be very productive. You will be very coordinated. And in these days, corporate world, people who are still working, young, young guys, you understand that. Everyone is looking for the quality. Everybody is the quality control department. This is also quality control thought that God is with me. And my evolution, since I am at the apex point of the evolution, I should behave that way. My thinking process should be at that level. It is just like a temporary phase of life. We come alone, we go alone. We come naked, we go naked. All citations, all certificates, all bank balances, all cars, possessions, this day, everybody. Then, does it not look a totally false existence that I have been looking very hard? I want to explore the midlife lens in order to get the best results, good grade. And then got a good job, good wife, good kids. But then everything stays here. It looks like drama. And that is why she experienced that. This world is a space and we are all active. Nothing belongs to you. But the way we live, it looks like everything is yours. You say openly, you interact with the people in that way. Mine, mine and mine. My family, my friend, my house, my car, my school, my teacher. So we have 
network of ideas. It's called network of ideas. Who created that? So it is very painful because when final departure time comes, this network is very painful because to dissociate yourself from this network which you have created yourself. आज आप हंड्रेड डॉलर का एक बिल कहीं गुम हो जाए मार्केट में आई डोंट थिंक डू दिस इसको विल कंटिन्यू सर एयर देयर एवरीथिंग इट इज ओनली हंड्रेड डॉलर बट व्हेन एवरीथिंग यू डू यू सी दैट इट्स गोइंग नाउ इट्स अ पेनफुल एक्सपीरियंस सो व्हेन यू आर यंग when you are healthy when you have the resources when you have the energy and just that thought that you are the actor actor so as long as you are the actor on the stage nothing belongs to you it is the director it is the other people who provide you the facility to act but when the act you are acting is over जो गो बिहाइंड दी स्पेस और घर से जो कपड़े डाल के आए वो डाल के फिर राइट लाइव इट इट इज नॉट अ स्केरी थॉट इट इज रियली दिस इट इज दी वंस यू अंडरस्टैंड लाइव यू आर मोर एट ईज यू आर एट द ऑप्टिमम लेवल ऑफ योर परफॉर्मेंस विद दैट अवेयरनेस सो आप रोजू सी हिंदी मूवीज मूवी किसकी ऐसी चलती है जो कैरेक्टर में घुसा हुआ है अमिताभ बच्चन गिव यू मैनी रोल ही डज दी बेस्ट एंड वेन ही गोज होम ही प्लेज विद एवरी थिंग विच ही डिड बिलोंग ऑन दिस वे ही हैज नो मनी बट वी ह्यूमन बींग फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल वी डोंट profoundly believe that this is the state we think it's a reality it is not it's a perception it's a perception and that awareness make you spiritually very strong <coughs> now once you understand that that this is just a temporary phase my existence if you go beyond this 200 mile in the sky near the global horoscope is there you see the creation there are billions of stars trillions of galaxies nebula moving around with the speed of light multi multi colors dimension space which is expanding all the time you think which is not visible to the naked eye and at the same time if you look at this little glow which we call earth this entity entities like that there are billions of us like that in the total set of us and on this little spot which we call earth or glow 7.3 billion people like you and me are living right and on this planet this is the ecology trillions of trees trillions of billion types of the birds animals and other insects so we are a part of that little creation do you perceive that in your life when we walk and talk we interact with people we think we are the one If you you have good day, you have good job, good family, you are at the top. But if this God is there, then you will be humble. You will be happy. So I am just playing my God. And Bhagavad Gita is the awareness. It brings the awareness that there is a better way. And with this perception, when you change, the suffering disappears. We suffer emotionally. We have three types of body: physical body, which everybody is. 
look at it. But behind that, this is the emotional body. And emotional body controls your physical body. And that is why this is. Base is the index of mind. Jo aap sohti ho, vaise aap ka chera. If you are very happy, you don't have to tell me. It will be neglected. But when you are sad, you don't have to tell me. People know those sad. They will ask something that everything will be all right. We take care of the outer frame. You go to jail, the job. We go to school. We do many things for the outer frame. But the inner body, which is the emotional body, which controls your physical body, we don't take, take care of that. And that is why we suffer. That is the reason of our suffering. Once I understand the chemistry behind this, I am better off. We will be living like that. We will be talking like that. Inside you will be protected. You want to stand there. And you are at ease. Otherwise, you are dense. Very dense. People don't sleep these days. I am not breathing now. In broad, very broad breath research. People don't sleep. Where there are so many bodies. Concern. Personal. Impersonal. Monetary. Job. Korea, kids, wife, vice versa, lot of concern. And those emotions don't let you sleep. Sleeping should be and must be like putting off a switch. Aapko light chahiye, to be switch hai, isko on kar ke. Aapko heat hai, put it on. Right? Sleep. More of mind is like that. But you have to work on it. You have to work on it. Bhagavad Gita is not the abstract science. It is a practical wisdom to be applied. Bhagavad Gita is the science of application. Apply on a daily basis. Daily basis, whatever. When you eat, Bhagavad Gita should be there. For whom you are eating. A God is resided in your heart. What type of food you should eat? You are eating for him. Because if he leaves, then the body is dead. So practically you are eating for him. So what type of mandir is there? If Bhagavan is going to go to the temple, then what do you feel? What do you take in the mandir? What do you take in the mandir? The same thing. This is a mandir. Living, walking, talking mandir. Do we treat our body as a temple? No. No. Those buildings made of bricks and water and murti ki sthapra kai kam, usko mandir toh mandir. Yeh jo ishwar ne diya hai. Usko mandir ne diya hai. That will be suffered. So, what should we have to should I do with this awareness that my body is a temple? Eat quantity. Eat less. Eat for him, not for you. It's just a thought. Grai hum jo hai khate hai, wo aise khai hai. But the thought will be there. The same food, when you present to Lord, wo gokwa hai. Bhogan, luggage, santok, bhi seva, right? Karte hai. Have the same superior thought when you eat. So, when I am eating right, chances are I am healthy. So, who is the master? We go to the supermarket. With our own hands, we select the food. So, you have the choice. If you have the awareness, you will select the right quality of food. Food is of three types. Sattvic, Rajput, Tamsa. Try to eat what food is more 
deal to God, and that is the Sadhu. And then the English idiom comes in, you are what you eat. You are what you eat. These are the sayings not coming out of the blue sky. This is practical wisdom. People have lived that way. After Saint Jan, Pranavati. Look at it. Daily routine. And that is called Puja. The person has been living that way, that wisdom. Applied that wisdom. We are all able to do that. It is your commitment to yourself that it is now or never. Human Shreer Aapko Dubara Mile, Na Mile, is no warranty or guarantee. Lekin Jho Mila Ho, Jho Mila Ho, Use it. Quality. Quality. So going back to chapter 11, which is the celestial setup, Virata. Virata is the meaning of the Srishti Dodra. One is visible, one is invisible. The visible is called Kshar. Kshar means the Nash one. Change it. This world, visible with your naked eye, it is subject to change, including yourself. You have seen your album in your childhood. And now you are seeing it. So do you think what is it? But we say we are doing it. This is my help. I am like that. We are not here. But we are taking the album of life. And that is what we are doing. Throw away that album. Album means the collective memory of your experiences up to this point. Again, is it up to 10 years? I, I said something to you 10 years before. You never forget. The moment I come in front of you, you never, you never forget. And by one Sri Krishna, chapter 15, man. Sarvasya chaham haridisanni vishto madhaha samritir jnanam kovati. Vedaich sarvai rahme vivedyo vedan kridde avidev chaham. I am seated in the heart of everybody. Second segment is, I am the memory. I am the memory in this body. So if Lord Krishna is memory in your body, what should be you doing with your memory? Don't miss you. Don't have you. That that is that is the attribute to Lord Krishna. I am not missing you. I am not missing you. But when we don't forget <coughs> you, we are missing you. We are abusing you. We show people God that we are insulting Lord Krishna. I may be doing a lot of art. I may be singing a lot of devotion to bhajan means nothing if I am not doing this. So erase bad things from your memory. Erase. And you can do it. It is doable. Stop all it. <coughs> so if you do that, your memory will be sharp memory. Sharp memory means focused mind. Focus mind. Focus mind. And for anything to live in this on this planet, respectful, you need a focus mind. If your mind is not focused, whether it is a puja, whether it is meditation, whether it is yoga, whether it is assignment, whether I am doing office job, I am not producing the quality because my mind is not. And this awareness, you don't have to buy anything. It is free. It is free. 
people who charge for meditation and yoga, they are committing a sin. It is free. Lord Krishna didn't charge Arjuna. And the whole populace since then is being benefited with his wisdom. But he didn't charge. The same thing is applicable at this level also, up to us. It is free. But the thing which is free, we don't respect. We don't respect anything in this world which is free. <coughs> this is a class, human class. The same class, Bhagavad Gita class, if you start charging thousand dollars per hour, whosoever will come, it will be one person. Where will you find that class? He will be making a lot of notes. Of college of the new students. If you have seen the student and you have made a lot of feet, you are, you are making notes. Our time is over? Yes.